What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and this is another tutorial on Objective-C programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to uh, declare variables and how to use variables. So let's get started. Now what is a variable? Well a variable is like a placeholder for different types of value in a program. And uh, we can assign different value to a variable. We can uh, manipulate that value and also we can invoke it later on. So there are different uh, data types that we can uh, declare. Uh, for a variable, but I'm going to show you the integer data type in this tutorial. The other ones I'm going to show you later on in another tutorial, but uh, to declare an integer. So first off, what is a integer? An integer is basically a whole number that does not have any decimal points. So again, a whole number with no decimal points. To declare an integer uh, variable, we have to start off by um, typing an int. int is the data type. We can hit space. We got to give our variable a name. I'm going to call my variable red. I like to use colors for variables. I'm going to hit space. Actually, I'm not going to hit space. I'm going to end this with a semicolon. Because it is a statement, we have to end all statements with semicolons. Now, we just declared a variable with a uh, data type of integer. It's an integer variable that we named red. Right? So now we can hit enter. Now, uh, I want to give my uh, uh, variable red a integer value. Right? I want to give it some value. So we got to type in the variable name first, right? We're gonna hit space. We're gonna use this equal symbol. We're gonna hit space, and now we gotta give it a integer value. Again, an integer is a whole number with no decimal points. So I'm gonna give it an integer value of 20. End it with a semicolon because it is a statement. Now we declared a variable on top of here. Our variable is red, and it's an integer. And underneath it, we gave our variable red a value of 20. Now, how do we uh, print this out on the screen? Let's say we wanted to print this out on the screen. We can use the ns log statement to do that. I showed you how to use the NSLog statement in my last tutorial, and uh, we printed out hello world. So we're going to use the same statement. So we're going to type in N, capital N, capital S, capital L, lowercase o, lowercase g, hit space, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon here. Now, in between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in another string. Uh, we're going to type up something for the user to read, and then our variable next to it. So again, we're going to use this at symbol, a set of double quotes, so two double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, we're going to type out what, what we want to uh, display on the screen, a message for the user, right? Let's uh, type out the number is and hit space, right? Now we're going to type in a placeholder in, be in between this set of double quotes for the variable to go. And the placeholder is uh, percent symbol and I, right? When the program gets to this percent symbol I, it knows that we're not going to want to print that on the screen, right? It's just doesn't make any sense. So it knows that this is a placeholder for a variable. So then it waits for us to give it a variable to use. Okay, the way we give it a variable to use is at the end of this double quote here, we're gonna type in a comma, right? Then we're gonna type in space. Then we're gonna type in the, the name of our variable that we wanna use. So our, we only have one variable and the variable is called red. So we can type in red. So again, this is what's going to happen right here. NSLog is going to print out this string. And this string is the number is. Then we use this code here for uh, a variable placeholder. So, so then when the program gets up to this point here, it knows that there should be a variable here. So that at the end of here, we, uh, we added a comma after the last uh, double quote. Then we hit space. Then we gave it a variable. Now it knows that this variable should go here. So let's uh, test it out. Let's hit play here. And it build succeeded. And as you can see, it printed out the number is 20. And it filled in the value here with our variable red. And again, percent symbol i is a placeholder for a variable. So um, we added this comma after the, the, the last double quote. And, and we hit space. Then we added our variable that we wanted to add. So let's say we wanted to, let, let's uh, declare a couple of variables. Uh, so uh, let's keep our variable red, right? And let's declare another variable. So let's, we can declare variables all in one line if you want. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So let's say uh, we're going to declare a couple of variables and each, each of these variables is going to have an integer value. So we're going we're to type in our data type first, which is integer. We're going to hit space. We're going to give our first variable a name. Let's call our first variable uh, red, right? Hit, then we're going to type in comma, hit space. Then we're going to type in our second variable. Let's call our second variable blue. We're going to use a comma again. So let's hit space and let's call our third variable sum. 
and end it with a semicolon because it is a statement. So here we initialize three variables all in one line. So this is a neat trick. It's a, it's a time saver and, and uh, it saves a lot of space in the code. And uh, we declare three variables and each of these variables is an integer. And our first variable name is red, our second variable name is blue, and our third variable name is sum, right? So now let us hit enter. So now let's uh, give these variables some value. So let's give variable red a value of 20. So we're going to type in variable red here. Hit space. Use this equal then symbol. Hit space. Give it a value. Let's give it a value of 5. Right? End it with a semicolon. Now we gave variable red a value of 5. Right? Let's hit enter. Now let's give variable blue some value. So let's type in blue here. Space equals space. Let's say 6. End it with a semicolon. Now our variable blue has a uh, value of six. So let's say sum. Let's say sum equals, right, red space plus symbol here, blue. End it with a semicolon. Oops. Let's go back. Plus blue. And that with a semicolon. So what we did here is uh, this is uh, arithmetic. This is uh, red adding to blue, then saving the value to sum. I'm going to talk more about like the arithmetic and the different uh, math operators later on. This is a arithmetic operator here. I'm going to talk more about that later on. But what this is doing is basically sum equals red plus blue. So red plus blue. So five plus six is eleven. So the value of five plus six will go into sum. So the sum should have a value of a eleven. So let's do this. Let's say, let's delete this here, right? Let's delete this message here, uh, right? And let's type in something else. Let's, uh, again, we gotta use the add symbol here and a set of double quotes, right? In between the set of double quotes, we're gonna type in, uh, so in between the set of double quotes, we're gonna type in our placeholder for the first value. Again, uh, we gotta use this percent symbol I, right? Sorry, so we can use this percent symbol here then I. So this is, again, this is a placeholder for uh, a variable, right? So then we're going to say uh, uh, percent symbol I, this is a variable, right? Uh, we're going to use plus symbol here. Then we're going to say uh, percent symbol I again, because we're going to use the second variable. And then we're going to hit space and we're going to use this equal then symbol. Then we're going to use uh, another percent symbol I, because this is going to uh, be our third variable. Uh, then, so, okay, let's start from the top here. NS log is our print statement here. And in here we have a, a uh, string, right? Our string here is going to, uh, it's going to print out the value of the first variable. This is a placeholder of our first variable. Then it's going to print out plus uh, the value of our second variable. Then uh, it prints out equal, then the, the value of our third variable, which is sum. So it should print out uh, 5 plus 6 equals 11, right? So now, again, the program uh, knows that this is a placeholder for our variables, but we, we didn't tell it what variables to use. So, again, we have to do that at the end of this uh, double quote here. We got to type in comma, hit space. We're going to type in our first variable, right? Our first variable is red. So, uh, th so this first variable gets passed on to this first uh, percent symbol i, right? So, so that's how it knows that red goes here. So let's add our second variable. We're going to use a comma again, hit space, then we're going to type in blue. So uh, the second one here goes to the second uh, percent symbol i. So that's how that gets its variable. So again, we're going to type in comma, we're going to hit space, now we're going to type in sum. So, th so now the program knows that this third variable here goes to this third percent symbol i. So that's how that gets its value. So when I hit play here, it should print out, let's hit play, and build was successful. And it printed out down here, as you see, 5 plus 6 equals 11. Again, the percent symbol i are placeholders for variables. The way the program knows uh, which variables to use is by the, the which variable we, we add first, which variable we add second, and which variable we add third. The first one here goes to the first percent symbol i. The second one here goes to the second percent symbol i. The third one here goes to the third, and that's how that pretty much works. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.